What's up you guys? It's Destiny Moshe. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hello and welcome to the Stay Nation. If you are not, you know I rock with you the long way. So today's video, I'm going to show you guys basically my whole setup for my workstation. It's not going to be like my actual, like where I make my lip glosses and stuff at, but like how I keep things organized. So this shelf right here is how I keep most of my stuff, stuff organized. So you guys probably see me like when I make videos of, my, of making my lip glosses and stuff like that. I'll be coming to this shelf right here and basically show you guys how I ship out my orders, um, how I pack my orders, and you know methods to, that I use to do it and stuff like that. So basically right now I'm just going to show you guys where everything is and how it's organized so I don't know where I'm gonna start but I guess I'm gonna start right here which you guys can't see so let me pick you up so I guess this is gonna be like a vlog type style it's late at night it's like 11 at night so that's why let me see it's like 11 at night and you know things happen at night so basically this i'm a mother so that's a lot of times when i get things going for my business it's at night so like not like going but more so of like packaging and stuff like that i know it's i gotta fix that okay there we go like uh yeah doing my packaging uh, making lip glosses and stuff. I basically most of the time do it at night because that's when I get peace and quiet. Nobody's running around. They might be asleep, but they might be down. So yeah. So basically, I'm gonna start right here. So this little area right here, ex nay this. Well, I guess I'll show you the whole thing. So the whole thing is this. That's the whole like nine tier shelf type thinking so this is basically my cricket machine where I make the stuff for um, my shirts and other things and this is one of my printers I have two because I couldn't get rid of this one so I ended up having two printers the other one that's behind me is too big so I'm liking it <laughs> so this is basically like I say where I make my shirts and stuff and here not this this goes to my camera don't mind this lip gloss thing i don't know how that got there i think my gloves might have did it whatever but anyway so here is where i keep my testers and the new inventory that i have on hand so these were like testing clear glosses why am i not getting okay like tester lip gloss clear glosses i didn't like them so those are going to be discarded um, but basically, yeah, this is where I keep my inventory. Um, so I have to re-up. As you can see, I am almost out. So here I have a uh, pink lady. I have, oh, this is just a tester. Oh, I only got one more deeper left. Um, I lot. I got two deepers. I got Showstopper Red, which is just one left. Nope, two. Why can't I count? I have... And is this a tester? No. And two barely bears. So it's like I said, my testers and in inventory right here. I need to read up as I can see. These are my um, papers where I print out what you guys ordered and I stick it inside the mailers. This little cubby right here, let me stand up so you guys can see. This little cubby right here is where I keep all my pigments and it's very dirty so I had to keep it somewhere so everything won't get dyed and stuff like that so here's where I keep all my pigments for my lip glosses, um, tester pigments, pigments for um, my uh, highlighting and stuff. So that's that. In this cubby right here. I have um, packaging for my highlighters, 
um, <clears throat> these are 20 gram jars, just to let you guys know. These, and I get my jars from, and my pigments from TKB Trading. So these are my boxes that I make with the Cricut machine. It's one thing I make with the uh, Cricut machine is my boxes. So these are handmade, kind of, sort of, because, I mean, I make them and cut them and stuff with the Cricut machine, but... I basically did it by myself. So handmade boxes and these are whoops the different colors that I have. This shouldn't be here, but whatever. Things happen. So those are my boxes and I need to re-up on my boxes as well. So those that is the first shelf. This camera is heavy. My second shelf I have, which is the middle shelf. Um Basically, tons and tons and tons of lip gloss tubes. Why is this one in here? I don't know. But this is where I keep all my empty, unlabeled lip gloss tubes and my uh, stoppers. And this one. All my labeled lip gloss tubes. I put them in this middle cubby right here. So all of these are labeled. And like I mentioned in my other video, um, these all have the old brand name, which is that's well, my name. And I haven't quite changed it to Beauty Beats yet. I haven't got around to do it, but I'm probably going to do that this week. So, like I said, all of these have um, Destiny on there. And once I put the, the glosses in, make the glosses, I put them in there. And then I just get a stopper out of here. Same thing with this one. It's just a whole bunch of what the bejeebers. I gotta clean that one. It's just a whole bunch of um, unlabeled lip gloss tubes and more stoppers. So um, they're gonna be changed to Destiny Moshe. I mean, to Beauty Beats. That's what the labels are gonna say. The lip gloss tubes are gonna say. Why can't I talk? I guess because it's late at night. So down here is basically my cutter for my papers like this that you see. So this is, I think this is my iron-on venom sheet or whatever for like my shirt. So I'm thinking about doing something with gold. I'm not sure what I want to do with gold, but I'm thinking about doing something with gold. So I have gold. And this is... um. It says it right here transfer tape <laughs> this is transfer tape why won't it focus focus on this on this focus there we go this is um basically transfer tape so this is what i use to put the labels on my lip gloss tubes uh this one is for like the regular this is the regular transfer tape and it's for um simple ones like this so when I originally started doing my um, my lip gloss tubes, I had this. It's like a matte go a matte gold, rather than a good gold. So this is a matte gold, and they were in this color at first, and I didn't too much like it, so I changed it to the glitter. But for this one, you will have to use this tape, and for the glitter, you will have to use this tape I oh yeah this is the actual glitter for the the paper for my lip gloss tubes this right here but I'm gonna get to this box later in a little bit so yeah so this one is the old one I might find something else to do with it this is the transfer tape for this kind of material um, this is iron-on material Iron on material and miscellaneous stuff that needs to be cleared out over there. Let's put this back. Gotta stay organized. This cubby here, I have it for my midnight snack. <laughs> but it's actually where I hold this box. So let's get to this box. So for this box, um, it's a bunch of miscellaneous stuff I guess you can say let me see if I zoom out okay so a bunch of miscellaneous stuff so 
this is a bunch of stuff that don't mind me that, that noise is my phone but this is a bunch of stuff that I got with my Cricut machine so this is window clean which is unnecessary to go with the business at the moment um, so I'm gonna just take these out because they don't really matter yeah this don't really matter but I have my gloves in this box because I gotta keep sanitary you know I also have my hot glue gun and my glues up in here my glue sticks this was some iron on material that I had um, to use this is what I use for my beauty beats my beat babe shirt or whatever so make sure you cop those they are on the website as well don't look at my legs <laughs> um, and this is what I use for my um, my tubes to put the labels on my alcohol was in here but I guess it's in the bathroom and my tape when I used it to um, cut out my boxes and stuff like that so it will move around on the Cricut machine so that's what's in this box organization helps a lot when you have a business so um, that's what I had got this cubby for so this cubby was about 50 or 60 dollars from Walmart I can't remember which one it was but I think it was like 50 60 dollars from Walmart and the cubbies were the little pink cubbies this right here was about 5.99 I think it wasn't much but yeah it, it was definitely worth it and i don't want anything plain i'm not like a plain type person i like stuff to stand out i don't like to be plain so i spent a little monies all together for this that's why you know i had to get i didn't want no basic tubes because i ain't no basic chick okay i like the good stuff and those tubes <laughs> like i said they were originally for my other the other brand name which was a Dest which was Destiny Moshe's cosmetics and I wanted it like a luxury affordable luxury brand but then I changed it to Beauty Beats so um these tubes once I'm through with these tubes my tubes might change and they are gonna change I'm gonna say that they are gonna change I'm not gonna tell you guys what they're gonna change to because that's the secret you know I want to surprise you guys so yeah so that was the last cubby so now we're um, moving on to the last part of the shelf so let's put everything back in here before I move is on usually down here I keep my laptop well I used to keep my laptop where my inventory is but I had it down here because I was going to use it but I decided I ain't got time for that so um down here is where I keep like big things so like things that I need for the business well you know whatever shipping and my packages like that so basically these were gonna be my boxes originally these are like basic um what what metallic poster board um sheets but they wasn't I mean they when I once I got it what I wanted um the shape and stuff like that I decided I didn't want these anymore and I wanted to try something else so like this I might continue to use I might use this but they didn't come in like the same color so they were like a variety pack and I would like to have kept it in the same color but they wasn't some um yeah so these are just like practice I guess sheets I, I should say I'm stuttering <laughs> so but this is my Cricut machine book this is um faux leather so like if I want to make something with leather maybe like um makeup bags I could use that but I ain't um this was supposed to be cardstock for my business cards but these also did not come in um like one color it came in 
a variety pack as well. And it got destroyed somehow. I don't know. Got kids. So they probably the culprits. But yeah. So those aren't used. I need to get rid of those. Printable sticker paper. Okay. So now we talking. Printable sticker paper. So what I haven't talked about yet or showed you guys is my mailers. Okay. I'm back. So these are my mailers purple lilac whatever you want to say metallic mailers um i need to get a bigger size because um i'm probably going to transfer to like boxes too and these so like if these would be only if you want like maybe one two three products tops you can put them in these but i showed you these these are my mailers and so what i do is this thicker paper i print out um my my business logo on here and then i basically take the paper off so i guess i'll demo that in another video to show you guys how i do it because it's like i said it's late at night so i guess that'll go inside a video um but like showing you guys how i mail and ship and stuff like that but this is the sticker paper right here so i just put my logo right there Shipping labels go here. Once I rip this off and close it, I put the sticker paper of my business logo right here. So it's just like an extra blanket of security um, for your for your purchase. And then it's also, you know, a way to brand myself even more to, you know, I stand out like I see. So yeah, so that's the way I stand out with that so that's sticker paper um and you can get the sticker paper from this sticker paper i got from cricut.com and then the other one i also bought it from hobby lobby too so yeah so that's sticker paper more cardstock um printable magnets Printable magnet sheets, which don't matter. Like I said, this is just like a miscellaneous and stuff that I use for um my my packaging. But I got printable magnet sheets that don't really matter. Um, these are printable vinyl. So, or, or is it is it sticker paper? I think this is vinyl. Why sticker paper? Oh. This is printable vinyl. It's like really thick. No, I think this is printable sticker. Printable sticker. This is printable sticker, y'all. This is more printable sticker. Um, what's the problem was it might be vinyl. It could be vinyl, it could be sticker, but um the problem with this, if it is sticker paper, um I switched from Cricut to Silhouette sticker paper because Cricut sticker paper is super thick. And let me show you what I mean thick. So I made labels for my lip glosses and there's my book. This is my little, was my cosmetic book. I need to buy another binder because... It done got destroyed, but you know, I keep my inventory page, my lip glosses. I also bought, I uh, bought, um, I bought sheet protectors, but I don't know what I did with it. Where my labels at? Okay, up here, my labels. These are not the labels. Where are my labels? Oh, back here. Okay, so these were my original labels. So the problem with these are they are, let me show you. When you peel them off, I'm stopping by. When you peel them off, they are super thick. Like an inch thick and it's like paper don't show me show this come on focus
it's not focusing for you guys tonight. I don't know why my camera don't want to work. Maybe it's sleepy too. But it's super thick. And you can see it on the lip gloss tube. Why don't my camera want to focus tonight? I don't know why my camera really wanna focus tonight. It's acting stupid. But it's like an inch thick or centimeter thick and it's not like, you know, what I want it to be. Just a lot. <laughs> it's just a whole lot. So I switched from the Cricut paper to the silhouette paper. I'm still gonna finish this because this paper ain't cheap. So I'm still gonna finish that, but um uh, probably in a few uh months. I'm, well, I know for sure once I'm through with all that, I'm going to switch to the silhouette paper because it is super duper thinner than the Cricut paper. And it's cheaper as well. So, yeah. We're going to be doing that. Sorry, y'all. My car got full. But I was saying, this is just heat transfer paper. So, I'm going to be trying to... Um, Add some extra things, like maybe more things for my shirt. So this is why I got this. And I also have printable vinyl. And basically printable vinyl um, can go on jars and stuff like that. So I'm thinking about using that for my... For my... Um, what are these? What are these? <laughs> I'm thinking about using the uh, the printable vinyl for my highlighter jar. So that's still a toss up. But as of right now, um, they're blank. I probably put either Jazz It Up on it because these are my Jazz It Up highlighter tubes, highlighter tubes, highlighter jars. And I'm not sure. Like I said, I'll probably do something with the vinyl. But we'll see, you know, once the packaging is done. We'll see what we came up with. Whether to keep it up, jazz it up, you know, with the letters. Or we're going to do print the vinyl. We will see. But, um, yeah. And then I have, like, extra paper, um, printer paper, basic printer paper for the printer. You know, so like uh, once I went out of those mauve colors, basic white printer paper it is. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, and the last thing, I'm not done. I thought I was done, but I ain't done. Let me put all this, I'll pull this stuff back off camera. But the last thing I'm going to show you, um, basically it's a DIY. So I'm going to do a whole separate video on this. Um, but basically, this is the paper for my boxes. So, I got these from Hobby Lobby, and it's just basically glitter cardboard paper. And I just got these in, like, assortment of colors. And these were $1.99 a piece, yeah. These were $1.99 a piece. You see all the glitter flakes? You see glitter flakes? But these were $1.99 a piece. And I have pink, purple, a fuchsia, peachy pink, lot purple, and gold. So, um, I think I want to show you guys how to make my, how I make my boxes, like a DIY type thing. And I guess I can do my tubes too, you know, just the whole DIY, uh, video for you guys. So how I make my boxes and my tube labels. Yeah, that would be, I think that would be a good idea to show you guys, you know, be a savvy, save you some coins and stuff like that. But that's really all I have for today on how I keep my stuff organized. I have a lot more things to buy just to keep um everything organized and stuff like that i think i want to get maybe another drawer and set it on the side of my of this shelf right here so maybe hold 
I don't know, something. Some Oh, because I have other stuff coming in soon. Other new products. So, be on the lookout for that. I have new products coming out soon. So, I might have another show for um, something right there to hold that. And then I hope do another whole nother, a whole nother video on organization and inventory and stuff like that. So, if you want to see what I come up with next... But um, I'll just follow me on this whole business journey. Then make sure you click that subscribe button down below. And don't forget, I still am having my 20% off sale that's probably going to end this week. So make sure you shop Beauty Beats Cosmetics. The link to the website will be down below. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like these type of videos. And I know I can make more. More beauty videos are coming soon. I have not forgot about my beauty my beauty vlogs. I just want to guys. I just want to show you guys what I've been doing offline and you know keep this going and show you, you know, the business side of me. I have a lot more videos for you guys. I am going to try to keep my promise this time and bring you more videos. They might not be like two week they might be like a week here a week there but they're gonna come <laughs> they're gonna come um i'm gonna try to do daytime videos as well because it's a little bit harder to do nighttime videos but as long as we get videos out so um yeah that's about it i'm gonna clean up this mess i just made and i'll show you guys well i'll see you guys in my next video bye